Hey guys, my name is Tatlan Suleta and I'm a fashion and portrait photographer based in Miami and today we're going to talk about dodging and burning. So what it is actual dodge and burn? Dodge and burn is a technique uh, that we use to lighten or darken specific areas of the image. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do this. Uh, the easiest one and to me the most effective is through curves, right? So how do we set our curves so we can lighten and darken certain specific areas of the image. So what we're going to do, we're going to create a couple of curves, right? We're going to group these two and we're going to call this dodge and burn. After that, we are going to name this layer as well. This is going to be dodge. And this is going to be burn. So, we are going to stand on our dodge layer and we're going to slightly overexpose with curves. And we are going to limit our mask with command I. We're going to do the opposite in the burn layer. And we're going to invert a mask as well. The final step that we need to do so you can see how this works and while you get used to it is we need to take out the color of the image. So, there's another couple of ways you can do this, but I think the most effective one is if you do a hue saturation layer and you take off the color, and then you create another curve so you can generate contrast in it. This way you can manipulate it and give it different values depending on what you're trying to search. In this case, we're gonna try to see if we can actually work on the freckles, right? So this is going to be another group, and this is going to be a visual aid. Visual aid, right? So, dodge and burn. We're going to use a regular brush, a very, very, very flow, low flow, sorry. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to our freckles. Normally I wouldn't do this because it will be nice to keep the freckles, but this is just explanatory. So we're going to step on our stand on our dodge layer, and we're going to start painting light in these darker areas. And what this is going to do is change that light value of the area, making those darker patches lighter. Before, see this is a very 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 subtle change. You have to work slowly. You could use a higher flow if you want, but because there's so many like minimal transitions in some areas of the skin, when you're working like in detail, it's better to have maximum control. So I can still see like lighter patches here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stand on my burn layer and I'm gonna start painting dark these lighter areas so they like match the surrounding. This is supposed to be very careful, but I'm just doing it like fast so you can understand what Dodge and Burn does. So now if we do before and after, you can see how that area changed. See, before and after. Now let's take out the visual aid, before and after. See, there's some more things you can do with Dodge and Burn. You can contour, so. Light the highlights, darkening the shadows, for example. The cheekbone here, give a little bit of light. See, you can work on actual uh, light values of the image and enhance it, or just like we did, we can just work on specific areas to change. And that's it. It's as simple as this. Uh, I'll do another chapter, explain more in detail dodge and burn but for now I hope this tip helped you if you liked it please subscribe and share with your friends and I will be seeing you on another episode thank you very much for watching and you have all a very very nice day